just like to know about uh, specific projects uh, that um, Siv and myself were talking before, that question about education and how, what, uh, how would you uh, involve in that uh, education and mobilization as a way uh, to meet the uh, general public. Uh, the question of, um, to me, the prisons and the death penalty are the prison industrial complex that's still in the forefront and will continue to be so uh, as um, contraction take place when people are uh, completely marginalized in society and more and more people will be uh, <coughs> warehouses in uh, these um, in the prison industrial complex so what how do we address uh, the, the, the question of um, <coughs> uh, labor organizing as, as, as that is related to education and mobilization uh, I'll just leave those and uh, pass it on to Andy to talk about it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, congratulations. And for a uh, uh, wonderful uh, uh, life trajectory in the, the struggle. Uh, I'm interested in finding out how to bring more feminist uh, conversation into the Middle Rights culture, and uh, also the question of uh, language, because it seems like even from the point of view of uh, uh, reaching out to the community outside uh, academia, it is a challenge, let alone reaching out to communities who operate in, in all the languages besides English. <coughs> and New York has been a, a strong site of uh, uh, a, a big luxury of uh, uh, different communities organizing around this type of uh, concern that have been addressed today, but they operate in different languages. For instance, there are many African uh, um, African community and based organizations. Uh, <coughs> the type of ideological orientation that we are discussing today but because they operate either in uh, indigenous languages or in French or uh, maybe in Spanish, uh, we need to address that. Uh, and maybe that's another way of recruiting other members uh, uh, so that we will have, in the process of the community, uh, we will see that actually uh, the culture, the question of culture will be incorporated and uh, this conversation that we are beginning to have about Africa and, uh, and Asia, for instance, or Africa and US, uh, US and the rest of the world, we will see that coming from the communities that we have right here. And uh, they, uh, this question of knowledge can be addressed because different communities are in conversation with their own time. So we'll be able to uh, network that. Thank you. Um, well, I'm uh, quite pleased to think that there might still be a, f a future book publishing of, uh, with Midnight Notes projects, but uh, I'm not uh, terribly sanguine about the ability of uh, books to reach that wider audience. Um, I think uh, part of Midnight Notes' trajectory has gone from this kind of uh, uh, insular, uh, anonymous, and semi-clandestine group to uh, a more diffused group. And as one of the friends of the Midnight Notes, uh, it feels to me like uh, the, the best way that Midnight Notes can develop uh, kind of more important and maybe more uh, involving mechanisms for communications are online. Uh, I'd like to see something like what Peter suggested, some kind of uh, uh, more active presence of Midnight Notes uh, 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 with uh, email listservs or Facebook pages or uh, uh, some, some device that will allow uh, a, a larger group to stay in closer communications together. Um, thank you all for a wonderful day and for you know, having been able to be a friend for as long as uh, I have been. Um, I guess the thing that I'd like to say is I think Definitely that the uh, 
research, collaboration, writing, and circulation should continue. But in my own work, I've been very thinking a lot about um, further kinds of more direct action, just because I've been very inspired by, over the last year, having um, worked on this film about the Freedom Riders. And it's been very inspiring to think about their <coughs> example 50, almost 50 years ago, you know, a group of people who really believed that something needed to be changed and you know, got themselves together and made a plan and, and inspired you know, a whole lot of people to uh, get together and you know, make a big difference. And so i just like to see that um, you know, go, think a little bit more about how that kind of thing could be extrapolated into the issues that we're concerned about now and you know, have some kind of action policy. <laughs> Um, uh, well, thank you for the day. It's been a really uh, amazing learning experience for me, and uh, it's been great to be with you all here. One of the things that I'm interested in thinking about or discussing with you all, um, and I think that this the work of NIOs gives us a good uh, jumping on point to do that, which is the question of political organization and how do we use this analysis to really think now about what forms of political organization make sense in this particular context of both what we, uh, what Matt was referring to, of, of both uh, the question of repression, well, and everybody in different ways have been referred to, this question, uh, very real question of repression and co-optation and um, uh, of ourselves and, and our all, all complicated relationship to that. And I, well, I, I like the idea of, I, I mean, I think the question of circulation is obviously very important, and I like the, or I'm not against, I suppose, the idea of, uh, of having online presence and stuff like that. What worries me about that is that it's just this sort of endless circulation can appear as politics, but it's just endless circulation. And how do we really uh, develop, uh, you know, because I, that, that's obviously just as exclusionary and uh, atomizing, isolating as any uh, other kinds of forms of communication. So how do we really think about new forms of political organizing that, and, and I think, instead of touch on that too, I think that's a really interesting point you made about the different ways in which uh, people are connected uh, both within the, within the city and um, internationally. And, and so uh, sort of rethinking the idea of the network in more uh, material terms and, 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 and uh, everyday sort of face-to-face -face terms. And that's why, I mean, in your uh, presentation last night, your discussion about the movement, uh, how they're uh, you know, people are still maintaining, you know, putting that energy into face-to-face -face discussion. And, and I can see that here today. People have come from, you know, all over the place to have this. So obviously this is still seen as really important um, place to at least begin that discussion.